So let's talk about um, getting our car to just jump once. And let's use some of the physics um, that we just uh, went through in our first lesson here. So using the rigid body and the uh, um, colliders, let's see if we can apply what we learned to our uh, game. And let's see if we can um, make this car work correctly. So right now, if we push the space bar and we keep pushing the space bar, it just keeps jumping up in the air. So we need to sort of think about using our colliders. And logically, the way to make this work would be if we uh, um, had the car be able to sense um, or know when it is on the uh, road here. And then um, it would be able to jump again. As long as it can collide with a, another object, the road, and know that it's collided with it, um, then it would be able to jump. And of course, we have to make sure we designate terms um, for our colliders so we know what's going on. So let's take a look at, us, at the script. So we're going to make a few changes to the current script you have. So um, we're going to add a bool. So this is what I was talking about uh, a few minutes ago. A bool is a true-false statement. So it's either going to be true or false. In this case, we're going to create a variable called cube is on the ground. We're going to make it private because we don't want them to see it or have uh, um, the ability to change it when they're playing the game. Um, we want to control that. And when the game first starts, we want the um, uh, vehicle to think that it is on the ground. So we're going to make it that it's on the ground true so it can jump one time. So we're going to be able to jump once when the game first starts, but then we need to um, use that statement and change it so that we start um, can only jump when we're on the ground. So we're going to go to our previous statement um, where we got the car to jump, and we're going to add this statement onto it. So let's take a look at it. So in this case, both of these um, statements have to be true. So um, that means if we push the space bar, which is the unity command for jump, and we're on the ground, then we're going to um, jump one time. And then we're going to add this statement to that script and say, then it's false. So remember, we said it's true when the game first starts. So if the vehicle thinks it's on the ground no matter where it is when the game first starts. So this statement already is true. So it's going to jump and it thinks it's on the ground. It's going to jump one time, but then we're setting the cube is on the ground to false. So now it no longer thinks it's on the ground and will not jump again, unless. So now we're going to use some of those colliders that uh, we've been talking about and studying to control our game and make it play the way we want to. So now when we collide with a um, another object in the game. And so if we collide and that game object has a tag, so we're colliding with a game object, but there's a lot of game objects in our game right now. But in this case, again, both these sites have to be true. 
So if we collide with a game object that has a tag of ground and only ground, then it's going to make the cube is on the ground true and we would be able to jump um, again and again every time it touches ground only when it touches ground so now we're starting to use logic and we're starting to use physics in our game and it's just logical if you look through it you can see okay we're colliding um, with an object a game object and if that game object happens to be um, labeled as ground then we'll be able to jump and remember we say what is ground um, it doesn't have to be ground. So in this case, if we look at my um, road, right now it is untagged. So let's jump and I'm hitting spacebar and nothing happens. So following the logic of our um, uh, script, we need to tell the um, a game that this is going to be labeled ground. Now we could make this ground, we could make this ground. We, we could have a ramp or a ladder and make a ground. We control that. In this case, we do want to jump on the road. We're gonna go up here, and I've already typed a tag, but you're going to go down here and add tag. You're gonna hit and type in ground. Now watch the way you spell it, because whoever you spell it is gonna determine how it goes in your script. So my script has a capital G, so I'm choosing that. So I'm um, tagging this road as ground. So when I jump, every time I hit ground, I can jump again. So you can tag anything you want as ground. You could have a small series of boxes. You want it to jump up those boxes and go back down or a ramp you wanted to jump up to different levels or a ladder. So you depend, you determine what you want to be as ground. So um, let's go back. You can either uh, add to your script or you could copy your script from here down and then create a new script, paste it in, and then you're going to add this um, variable so that we can sense um, when our, and remember, collider, when our vehicle collides with the ground. So we say it's on, it's on the ground, but actually it's colliding with the ground. And you're going to add that. And then you're going to add um, the, the other option that the, if the um, cube is on the ground, then it will jump. And of course, the first statement says that it is. So it will jump one time no matter where it is, and then it's going to be false. So unless it's on the ground after that first jump, it's never going to jump again. But it, then if it collides with um, any game object tagged as ground, then it will become true again. And it will sense that it is on the ground, the cube is now on the ground, and it will be able to jump. And again, we are using the colliders. So if we look at our road, um, there's the collider. You can see the green collider around it. We could make it bigger, we could extend it, we could move it. So the whole physics is based on the car, which has the collider also. We can see the green collider around it. This collider um, colliding with the road collider. So um, our physics all going to be based on colliders. So that's why we went through the, in detail and talked about the uh, different kind of colliders and rigid bodies. So go ahead, um, change your script, and um, tag your road or whatever you want to tag. Uh, well, at least let me know when I play it um, what's going to, you know, what, what I'm jumping on. And then build and run it and submit it to this exercise. Um, and I'll play it. You know, if you're jumping on one of these cubes or something or sort of stretched them out on there, you know, put that in the game so I know um, that's what we're doing. And uh, 
when I play, I don't know what I'm looking for. And remember, if you have any error messages, always go to the console down here and click and see if you can figure them out. Okay.